I just wanna make you mine Mine, my mine Mine Mine, my mine I just wanna make you mine Mine, my mine Mine Mine, my mine I just wanna make you mine Okay, let's get away from the edge, please. It makes me nervous. All right. He's <laughs> already oh, really shaking right now. You did it. Thank you. <laughs> because we just got back from Manitou and we spent the day in the city there. So um, we really just wanted to see the beautiful drive on the way there. But yeah, we're getting hungry, it's dinner time. So we're gonna go into this Japanese restaurant mm. called Fusion Japan. Fusion Japan. They I better really, have a sake. I really just want like a knockoff version of uh, uh, Poke Bowl? onigiri. Oh, didn't they have onigiri? Never thought I'd feel so alive. Looking in your eyes. Japanese restaurant. <laughs> now we're just snacking on some chocolate. Anyways, we're probably gonna call it a night. We're back in the Walmart parking lot tonight. And we're just gonna stay the night here. We're looking for a movie to watch, so hopefully we can find one. But yeah, we're just gonna sleep here tonight and then we're gonna head down to Colorado Springs tomorrow and explore the city down there and go to garden of the gods but yeah i think we're gonna call it a night tonight and we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow good night make sure she's nice and shaking out <laughs> we're cleaning the van out it gets really messy when you got like three people living in it at the same time but you just accumulate so much stuff well we try to keep it like we sanitize the floors, we sweep everything, drain the potty, yeah, drain the drain bucket, all the cooking. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Now we're gonna head over to Colorado Springs and hit um, Garden of the Gods and some shops down there and just see what there's fun to do down there, I guess, because our time in Woodland Park has come to an end. Oh. Yep, Jake's first time 
Why is there like another rapper? All right, whatever. Thoughts? Is it worth all the hype? I don't know. I can't tell yet. I'm gonna keep being like it's good. It's got a different flavor to it. Yeah. Gabrielle, what'd you get? I don't know if they want the pickles. I don't really like pickles. I didn't get anything. I'm just um, mooching. I'm probably gonna have some of Jake's. Or Gabrielle's, because Gabrielle claims she's gonna eat that whole burger and that whole thing of animal fries. And I don't think she can do it. Everybody go get it nice. done with his burger, he's working on his animal fries now, but what's your overall rating? I want to come back. You wouldn't? No, probably not. <laughs> I yeah, told you. It's alright. <laughs> all the guys in the military, the guys from California, they're like, oh, in and out or Whataburger, and everybody's like, Whataburger. The Whataburger's not even that good, so I was like, bro, in and out, I don't know, man. It's good, it's just not somewhere I personally want to come back to. Right. You know? I feel the same exact but way. I was so hungry in that burger. Burgers aren't bad. I know. I right. Feel like it's just lacking flavor. They're good burgers. They're I'm good. not saying they're bad, but I don't understand the hype. The animal style. That's why I like it. I don't know. I should be a food I should be a food critic. I think. I would say steak and shake any day over this. Second six where it's at. Yeah. I would be a point It's like a punching bag. <laughs> you just keep doing it. <laughs> Wait, I want a, here, I want a video here. camera. Yeah. <laughs> I swear I saw a foot for a second. Yeah, it was. It was like an air balloon. Oh, I love this sweater. I just want to love you. We went there the other day.
Okay, we made it to the top of Independence Pass. Honestly, I didn't know we were going up the pass. Otherwise, I probably would have like had a panic attack. I only found out whenever we pulled off to that stop a second ago and I saw how high up we were and I was like, I didn't know we were doing this, but okay. So I just stayed in the back the rest of the way and closed my eyes. So we're 12,000 feet up right now. And it's definitely super chilly, but it's a very sunny, beautiful day. So it was a perfect day to come up here. The peaks are, the peaks are not hiding today. So super excited. We're gonna get some group photos and then head into the city of Aspen. Okay guys, we just made it to Aspen downtown and it is Gabrielle's birthday. birthday girl. So yeah. we're gonna go find a place to celebrate. You know where we're going? Yeah, just straight. I've never seen a town like this. I know. It's awesome. Okay, so we just found a restaurant. It's called Aspen Tap. And they serve a lot of like pizza and wine and beer, like, you know, that type of thing. Um, and we got a seat outside, so it is absolutely beautiful out. I'm just in awe. I'm so hungry. What is trouble oil? Have you ever had truffle fries? Uh, 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 what does truffle come from? Oh, it's mushroom. From mushrooms? It's good. Really? Yeah. So Gabrielle told us that she saw her perfect man earlier. He was hosting at a restaurant called Meat and Cheese. Shout out if that's you. <laughs> yeah, he's watching your vlog. Come get you, girl. <laughs> he was the most beautiful. Gabrielle was crushing hard. I literally didn't even see him. Except he was like 16. I didn't even look. Gabrielle, that's creepy. Not really. It's my 22nd He probably birthday. wasn't 16. I mean, people don't look their age sometimes, so maybe he was like... 19. Yeah, they don't make them like they used to. 19 actually. wouldn't be bad. I mean, you'd still kind of be a cougar, but you wouldn't be I bad. Not we got that young love, yeah, that dumb love. We got that mad love. We got that sad love. We got that fun love. We got that young love, yeah, that dumb love. done at the Aspen Tap and we are currently wandering around downtown Aspen and we're getting ready to go find a King Soups I think to get Gabrielle a birthday cake and celebrate so um yeah I'll catch you guys whenever we get there this flavor that one's cute oh what's the one underneath it is that cheesecake oh dang Trace Legis that looks like strawberry shortcake these rolls are good. Thanks. Oh. Look at the cake. This is so like cute. This is why we got a cheap room because find that. Oh yeah, baby. Oh. I don't think I've ever appreciated a hotel as much as I have now. Really? Yeah. Especially with Gabs in there. Which flavor is the best? Berry punch? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Tropical punch? Cheers! Everything will be alright. Alright, Jacob is changing in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, cover me, and he just stripped down. The bathroom was so tiny. Cover me. <laughs> I don't really know. Well, I thought I came up with the candid videos. <laughs> That's nice, dear. That's nice, dear. <laughs> yeah, where they're like city shots and then it's just like B roll kind of thing. Not B roll, but like just. Is that your idea? Cool. Well, you watched my vlog and you said, <laughs> oh, I'm going to take you notes and then. Oh, Kellen, no. I'm, gonna change. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, that's what I'm asking you. The most important thing in a relationship. This is actually a very good uh, question. We should team? all give our answer. Okay, pick what yours is. Because um, some people. This is my shirt. No, I bought this one. Go look. I love that. Probably. Transparency. 
Transparency. So, like, transparency, communication, loyalty. transparency type stuff. So, if yeah. he's not attracted, but he's transparent. What is it? No. Mean? No. It's not. You just said that was the most important. Yeah, but there's other factors that could totally waver. That you could say the most important thing is right, loyalty. What's the deal, and Blake? Like, what's ugly. the deal, yeah, Blake? <laughs> Cheers to not having any pizza. <laughs> yes. Cheers to that. Guys, I just want to say, listen. <laughs> the Callum's tipsy. <laughs> I'm not even tipsy. <laughs> Here's the thing, guys. We're going to blink one time. And we're going to be 35. We're going to blink two times. We're going to be 47. And the third time, we're going to have grandkids. Okay? So yeah. make the most out of tonight. Thank you, money. Please! Oh, heading to the mall now from our hotel room um, I guess the mall is like attached to the hotel so we're gonna go find this mall and get some coffee some good coffee and then um, we're gonna be taking this gondola up to the marine bells later today so I'm excited to get that too they're doing a photo shoot here it's so cool this is the coffee shop we're going to. Yeah. Felix Roasting Company. This place is so cool. <laughs> so we went into two different coffee shops and we didn't like the vibe or the options in either of them so we just opted for Starbucks because you can't go wrong <laughs> and then we got Gabriel got some egg bites but we're gonna go to the city market and find some food because everything in this town is just like very ridiculously priced and not a lot of it so we're gonna find some of our own and make it I'm just gonna say the vanilla pudding was a town this would be it beautiful beautiful town it's gorgeous beautiful but you don't feel welcome yeah now yeah. maybe you don't you know but if you're not from here but you don't I, belong i'm not gonna say everybody's like that here because there is nice people here i've only met like two of them but okay y'all we just made it to the parking lot for the maroon bells we're about to get on the shuttle and head up there I am like out of breath. I'm just walking up that hill.
made it to the Maroon Bells and we're down here at the bottom by the lake and it is just beautiful weather out today like it's warm the sun is shining it's a little chilly like obviously but um it's really beautiful out and this is just crazy like unlike anything i've ever seen it's so cool we're hoping to see some moose or some wildlife but we haven't seen any yet it's just super peaceful down here All right, you guys, sorry I haven't vlogged much today, but after we went, what did we do? And we ended up going back up to find like some pretty trails to take some pictures. And I ended up getting really sick, like really sick. So um, we came back to the hotel and took a little nap and just relaxed. And I've been drinking a lot of water. I think I got some sort of like altitude sickness or something, just super nauseous. My tummy hurts and kind of lightheaded and loopy. So I, f I feel like my body is like aching too. I know it's, I know it's altitude sickness. Like I don't have a fever, like the flu or anything. I just like, my body feels weird right now. Um, but apparently that can happen at high altitudes. So today has not been a very fun day but we decided that we were just gonna have a chill night here at the hotel for our last night in Aspen. But anyways, I'm excited for that. Hopefully I feel better tomorrow, but. I gotta tell them about the drink I found. Oh yeah, tell us. All right, so I love, I love GT Dave's kombucha, mm -hmm. but I saw this in the store just at GT Dave's Alive Mushroom Elixir. And I was like, this is wild. Like, what is this? Root beer flavored, right? But the ingredients are raw apple cider vinegar, 30 grams of reishi mushroom and two others that are really good for you, but it kind of tells you on the back how they, what they do for your body, like stress, anti-inflammatory, stuff like that. I cracked it open. It tastes, it tastes like root beer. It's good. I like it. I think the taste is pretty similar. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Jake mm -hmm. is a kombucha connoisseur. But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to touch base with you guys. I know I didn't vlog a lot this afternoon, but I've just been sleeping and recovering and trying to feel better. So hopefully tomorrow will be better. And tomorrow we will be on the road to Salt Lake City. We'll be done at Colorado and heading to a new state. So Jake and I are gonna go hit the hot tub one more time tonight and we'll see you guys tomorrow. No, 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 no. You can get it like not that sweet. I'm just wearing my own stressful today, but. I know this is a stretch, but I didn't think it was great. <laughs> no, I did it with my pants. That's I know, but the shoes are just like making it. No, it, it'll work with these shoes. <laughs> I used to have, I have shoes like this too. Okay, hey, good morning, you guys. As you saw, I just made some coffee um, in the hotel room today because uh, we're tired of spending our money on coffee. So, oh, shoot. I just spilled it. Mm, what in the world? Anyways, but yeah, so we woke up a little earlier this morning. We're just trying to get the hotel room cleaned out right now and we're gonna check out of the hotel. All right, so Callan and Sarah are getting their car to leave and we are getting oh, our car. Bye. 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 Boom. bye. Say bye. But yeah, we are finally on the road to Salt Lake City now. And we're probably gonna get there kind of late tonight, but we're gonna get there and um, just find somewhere to sleep and call it a night. And then Gabrielle will probably spend the day with us tomorrow and then fly out tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna get on the road. It's been a good time here in Aspen, but I think my tank is empty for it here. So I'm ready for the next thing. Um, I think I've had my fill. Yeah. And I'm ready to see the next place on our travel list. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited to be back on the road. And it was so nice to stay in a hotel for a couple nights. Like, yeah, that was amazing to stay in a hotel for a couple nights. Just to, like shower and sleep in a real bed. Um, and not have to worry about like being freezing cold at night. Um, and plus the hot tub was a plus too. So I actually kind of missed the van a little bit. It just needs a little bit of a clean. That's and... why it's called Salt Lake City. Why? There's a big salt lake next to it. Really? I never knew this. All right, guys. So I don't think we're gonna be vlogging the rest of the road trip. So. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I mean, like the road trip to Salt Lake. Oh. Okay. I was like, what? Here we will. I was like, you're giving up YouTube? No. 
All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed these Colorado vlogs. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. We are heading to Utah next. So if you guys wanna see our travels there, then go ahead and ring the bell so you get a notification whenever my next vlog is up. I'll be posting these weekly so you guys um, can just like follow along with us in our travels. But yeah, I think um, that's all for Colorado. We're gonna stop at a grocery store real quick and get some food for the road. But um, we should be in Salt Lake tonight and we will be vlogging all of Utah, so we're really excited. We're gonna be hitting like the salt flats and stuff too, so stay tuned for that, and yeah. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week, bye.